Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, the Bad Wolf, and today we have another episode of... Uh, what's in the box? And at Organic Price Books, don't forget to use the code BADWOLF during checkout for $2 off your order. But before we get started, I just wanted to ask everyone to please like and subscribe the video. It's the best way to support the channel and really helps us grow as a community. Let's dig into this. Okay, usually I get my books, um, sometimes one or two at a time. I really had a lot of credit with OPB this time. So I ordered a bunch of things at once. I've been trying to expand my library outside of Marvel and DC. So I've ordered a lot of uh, lesser publisher books. But uh, now this one, if it's what I think it is, let me see here. Yes, yes, I've been waiting for this for so long. But I wanted to show you guys, even with one book, even one book, this is how OPP packages their stuff. You've got your bubble wrap on top on all four sides, and then the book on the inside is also wrapped in bubble wrap, in a little bubble wrap bed. It's just amazing packaging. They do such a great job. All right, let's get rid of this. So this book, um, I, I don't do single issues anymore, so I really have to wait for the hardcovers. But TMNT, The Last Ronin, has been something I've been looking forward to for quite some time now, and I'm really glad it finally came out. Um, yeah, I already opened this. I've already read this. I've, I've already got a video shot for this, so a review should, for this should be coming soon. Uh, but this was part of this month's haul, so I wanted to make sure to get it in the video. Uh, what's in the box? I don't know. I'm looking. Give me a minute. Let's see here. This is an Iron Studios box. Let's take any guesses. Do you guys have any guesses what you think might be in here? Hmm. This is Iron Studios Colossus. I'll get an assembly. I'll get an unboxing and assembly video out for that as soon as I can. Let's check the next box. Now this box came several weeks ago, right after the last video that I did for uh, what's in the box, which was the Star Wars stuff. Uh, but this was during the sale, so I want to make sure I got these. Amazing. That box. Uh, so, I'm a big X-Men fan, and I already have these stories, but I wanted the new binding, and I also wanted to have something to do for giveaways. So, I did end up getting the Age of Apocalypse, again, for the new printing, and I got the companion with it. So, at some point, when I do start doing giveaways, um, I, I have stuff for the giveaway show. I actually do like the original cover, and the binding is still pretty good on my original, so I, I may even give these away, I'm not sure. But yeah, it'll be a little bit while before giveaways start, things like that. Here. All right, next up, we got The Boys, Volume 1, The Boys Volume 2, and Volume 3 is in here somewhere. I'm really excited to read these. I've been a big fan of the show since it came out. It's going to be a fun read. Ooh, another Sideshow box. Let's check this out. This box. And this tissue paper. This actually was pretty cheap. Um, I'm big into gaming. And this is my Last of Us Part Two Ellie statue. Uh, surprisingly, that was only 50 bucks on Sideshow. I, I even got this with points. I didn't have to pay for it. It was great. Let's go there. All right, let's see what's next. Now this box arrived yesterday and so did this next one. Once again, JP's always giving out those great bookmarks. Thank you, sir. I'll never run out of those. 
and again with the tank like packaging in these boxes it's just absolutely amazing it just goes to show it's not just a fluke it's not just something he does for us youtubers every single customer gets this packaging it's amazing and i mean for the speed of their shipping and the awesome customer service you get there's no place better to buy your books in my opinion to each their own i know we all have our own favorite shops Okay, so these are some older books. I have a problem here. There we are. These are some older books that, uh, because I had the extra credit, I decided to go ahead and pick them up. Uh, we've got X Men Grand Design. And this is basically a history of the X Men in chronological order. Um, I, I did a little bit of reading about this book, but I haven't gotten to read it, but I'm really excited to get into this, and it's just going to be a little bit further down on my list because I've still got Firepower and all three of the boys' books uh, to read. I've got some other stuff coming, too. Uh, this is more of a side story for The Witcher, Grain of Truth. Didn't realize it was going to be that small, but hey, still hardcover. It'll still go nicely with the uh, library editions when they get here. All right, let's check out the big box. Another bookmark, a little note for the postal guy to make sure that they know that these are not just regular comic books, they can be shipped media mail. And this is just some old diamond boxes, uh, I've been collecting for years, you know what these look like, but yeah, he's got the bigger box and then the smaller boxes inside, and look, more bubble wrapped goodness. I'm just going to get him out of here. Let's get this box down here. Huge haul this time, guys. They're not usually this big. Alright. This one down too, so I can just go through them all. Alright, so next. We have the Evolution Complete Collection. Now this is a, an animosity spinoff. I'm still waiting for this book to come in. It's on back order, so the, the main book will be here hopefully in the next few weeks, but this is the extra kind of spinoff companion to animosity. Then our boys, Volume 3. Been waiting for this, man. It's going to be a great read. I'm going to have to read them all back to back, though. Uh, now this... I wanted to give this a try because, again, I've been trying to get out of the mainstream of DC and Marvel. Not out of it, but, you know, broaden my horizons a little bit. And I originally take a look at the Netflix series, and I really enjoy the Netflix series. So I wanted to check out Lock and Key. Lock and Key is a really good-looking story. At first, I didn't really seem like it was something I'd be into. But the more I watched it, the more intrigued I got. It's a great story about family and magic and... Uh, I recommend this to anybody. I'm, I'm going to give it a read, and then we'll do a review on it. Now, this book I actually got based on Omnibuddy, uh, Mitch. Mitch had recommended this book, and this is called Middle West. Uh, again, haven't read it yet, but the story looked and sounded good from the review I saw on Mitch's site, so definitely ch go check out Omnibuddy's video on this book. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to read this, too. This, I was really lucky. JP was able to get me a copy of it. This is uh, now out of print. And let's see here. This is Lock and Key, The Golden Age. This is basically the extra stories that weren't in here. So I decided to pick them both up because once I got into this, I just dove in with both feet, all or nothing. And uh, last few here, let's see. I'm, I'm big into Stranger Things. I love the show. Um, also saw these, uh, Omnibuddy did another review on these and these looked really good as well. These are other points of view from other characters that you didn't see in the... Well, characters you did see in the show, but like other things that they were doing during the time of the show. Um, I haven't read it yet, so I, I need to get into it and do that. But that's Volume 1 Library Edition, Volume 2 Library Edition. So, this is a really large haul this time, guys. I don't Like I said, I don't normally have them this large, but uh, I ordered a bunch of books at once, and JP came through once again with uh, David and his crew. 
They always do a great job. They have the best customer service, best packaging. I just can't say enough about organic price books. But this is the haul for this month. I'll get some reading done and get some of these reviews out as soon as I can. Uh, keep an eye out for the last Ronin review. That should be up in the next couple days. But next week, Bad Wolf Comics will do its first custom omnibus review. So stick around, true believers. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching.